Hey, good morning, church. Uh, so grateful to be able to come and spend a few moments with you talking about Galatians chapter 2. And, and I'm just going to jump right in off of what Brother Bob said yesterday. It's all about seeing that Jesus is all we need. You know, the Galatians 1.10 is really the theme that Paul builds his whole book on, his reasoning for the letter to Galatia. And it's the idea of whose approval are we seeking? God's approval, Jesus' approval, should mean more to us than any single other persons or things. Even people who are influential in our lives, people that we love and respect, are you know those those Christians in our lives that we would say, "Man, I really, I really cherish that relationship." But God is still more important, and His approval is still more important than even those Christians. And we also see this continued practice of trying to take Jesus, who's enough, who's everything that we need, and, and, and completes us, and try to add little pieces into. Well, yeah, but it's also you know who we associate and the practices that we uh, you know who we associate with practices that we have, and these little laws that we develop for ourselves that we think enhance our salvation. And, and the truth of the matter is, they don't. You can't add to Jesus. It's either Jesus. Or it's something else. It's not Jesus plus. It never has been. It never will be. It's always going to be Jesus or our different idea and version. And, and how Paul describes this is he uses the example of himself and how he's established as an apostle by God, not by man. But then he also uses Peter, who was also established as an apostle by God, but was falling into this trap of, of wanting to adhere to some ridiculous part of the law that he, I guess he felt like he compelled that he still needed to to follow. And, and really what he was doing is he was disassociating with those who embarrassed him and associating with those who he wanted to please and make happy. He was failing to remember we're supposed to seek God's approval. You know, God doesn't care who your friends are. God's not, God's not concerned with your, your entourage and your circle, what he cares about is that we love him with all of our heart, mind, strength, and soul, and that we love others as we love ourselves. He's not embarrassed by our by the people that we bring into our lives. As long as they don't have an influence on us and corrupt us, he calls us to go to those who society condemns, society doesn't want anything to do with. And he says, love them. That's who needs the love the most. Remember, Jesus says it's not the 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 healed who need the doctor, but the sick. I want to leave you with these two verses, and we need to strive to live our lives by these, these or this, this three verses total, sorry, but these verses. And the first one is verse 16. Yet we know that a person is not justified by the works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. So we also have believed in Christ Jesus in order to be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law, because by works of the law, no one will be justified. Our relationship with Jesus is in Jesus, not in anything that we do as an addition to that. Jesus and Jesus alone. And then verse 20. For I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not nullify the grace of God. For if righteousness were through the law, then Christ died for no purpose. When we take Jesus and we say, you got to add things to him, we're actually saying that Jesus died for no purpose. But thanks be to God, it's all about Jesus. And we have everything we need in him. I pray you'll be blessed as you spend some time in Galatians chapter 2 and look forward to seeing you tonight at church.